you, it's been another day of severe weather for many, although not all, and snow continuing to fall tonight. We have several Met Office warnings in force across the UK. Amber, for us here in Scotland and Northern Ireland, but in the southwest, they have a red take action warning through parts of the south, south of Wales in towards Exmoor and Dartmoor. They could see 50 centimetres of snow there. For us, it's the Amber Be Prepared warning in itself, a high level warning as these snow showers continue to come in off the North Sea and we could see a further five to ten centimetres of snow anywhere really within this amber warning area and that's valid until 10 o'clock tomorrow. For parts of the UK the weather is about as serious as it gets over the next couple of days so serious in fact that the Met Office have issued a rare red warning for parts of Scotland. We've already seen snow showers piling into much of Scotland as well as Northern England over the last few days and those snow showers during the rest of Wednesday and into Thursday will become heavier and they'll become more prolonged. Now accompanying those snow showers are strong easterly winds and that means that the snow will pile up and it will drift and in some locations we're looking at the risk of blizzards. Now across much of northern, eastern, central, southern Scotland as well as northeast England we're looking at widely 10 centimetres of snow building up by the start of Thursday. Locally more than 15 centimetres significantly more where the snow piles up in drifts. Those kinds of snow amounts can cause serious disruption to transport, to local communities and to power supplies an amber warning is in force, but a particular focus is on parts of the central belt, southeast Scotland as well. Here, widely 20 to 30 centimetres is expected between 3 p.m. Wednesday and into 10 a.m. Thursday. Locally, 40 centimetres and this is drifting powdery snow. Widespread disruption is expected. A red warning is in force here. Also affected eastern parts of England where again we've seen already in places 15 centimetres of snow building up over the last few days. That snow will continue in the form of showers and they will be especially concentrated through parts of Norfolk into Lincolnshire, southern parts of Yorkshire as well as the East Midlands. And here on top of the snow we've already got we're likely to see an additional 5 to 10 centimetres, locally 15 centimetres of snow building up during the rest of Wednesday. Again an amber warning in force. Now, by Thursday, our attention turns to somewhere that we've not seen a great deal of snow so far, and that's the southwest of England as well as Wales. And it's during Thursday morning that we'll start to see the snow move up from the south. And the snow will become heavier through the day, accompanied by increasingly strong winds, gusts of 50, 60 miles an hour in some locations. And combined with the heavy snowfall, we're likely to see blizzards as well as drifting of snow. And in these parts of the country, we have an amber warning again, 10 to 20 centimetres widely through this amber warning area, 50 centimetres over the hills such as Dartmoor as well as Exmoor by late Thursday. But it's during Thursday evening that we start to see these blue colours coming in to the south and it's for southern parts of England in particular that these blue areas indicate the threat of rain coming out of the sky and hitting frozen air below and that's what we call freezing rain and it can cause a serious ice risk on the roads and on the pavements. A lot of uncertainty about that aspect of the weather forecast. Snow elsewhere will continue to build up as we go through Thursday night and into Friday. So for Wales and the southwest, the risk of freezing rain and very icy conditions at first on Friday and for some locations significant snow mounts that can cause considerable disruption. Again, disruption to transport and to power supplies as well as local communities being cut off. An awful lot occurring in the next few days. Even where you don't have the snow and the ice, it's going to be severely cold. A significant wind chill, heavy snow and blizzards across parts of the country and later in the forecast, the risk of freezing rain for some parts of southern England. It's very important that you stay up to date with the forecast and the weather warnings over the next couple of days. You can do so by heading to the Met Office website, by downloading our app and by following us on social media. Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. We are really in the midst of this exceptional spell of cold weather that we've been talking about for the past two or three 10 day trends. Now, whilst most of the focus weather wise is on the here and now, some of you are probably wanting to know when this 
cold spell will come to an end. So let's take a look at the trends as we go into the weekend and into next week. Well, not surprisingly, it can't stay this cold throughout the 10 days. So gradually, and for some of us, I mean very gradually, it will be turning a little bit less cold. But it does look as if it will still be below average temperature-wise well into next week. Now, it also looks as if the weather won't be as severe, so heavy snowfall around at the moment, uh, but it looks as if things should be at least calming down a little bit over the next uh, 10 days. But there will still be the potential for wintry showers, and it's still going to be cold enough for frost and ice into next week as well. So, as I say, lots going on in the short term, and we all know why it's turned cold, because we've had easterly winds, and that's because high pressure has been dominating across Scandinavia. The winds go around a high pressure like that, and that's why we've been drawing in this very cold, exceptionally cold air from Siberia. But things are slowly starting to change further south. Areas of low pressure, one named Emma by the Portuguese Met Service because it's bringing parts of Portugal very wet and windy weather. That is pushing its way northwards. And notice the greens and the yellows. It is bringing with it slightly milder air, but it's also bringing with it moisture. And as the moisture kicks in and hits the colder conditions across the UK, well, it will provide some significant snowfall especially during Thursday and Friday morning. But it will also slowly try and bring that milder air in. But as we go into the weekend, it's not that much milder notice. It's just a hint at it, really, across parts of the south, whereas further north across Britain, it is staying on the cold side. Now, it's cold at the moment, as I said, because we've got easterly winds. Let's focus in on Thursday's weather because the snow showers keep on coming in. Still a potential for some pretty unpleasant conditions across much of Scotland. I'm not going to go into details of the warnings here, but we do have several in force. Go to the Met Office website for more on those or check out others uh, of our videos. But as I say, I'm not going to go into the details of the uh, warnings here. But snow showers continue in the north on Thursday. Further south, that weather system starts to show its hand. And wherever you are, it's cold. Temperatures on the thermometer around or below freezing in many places and feeling even colder because of the wind. As the wet weather pushes into the south, as I said, that's where we're going to start to see some heavy snowfall through Thursday afternoon, overnight into Friday morning. Heavy snow combining with strong winds, that means blizzards, and the potential for freezing rain. As the slightly milder air arrives, uh, it will initially arrive higher up in the atmosphere, and that means we'll see rain that will fall through a cold layer, and that hits the surface and freezes instantly and creates very, very difficult driving conditions. And again, on our YouTube channel, there's more videos uh, explaining what freezing rain is. The outlook for Friday is dominated by that low pressure system moving up from the north. The question mark about where this weather front is lying likely to be, still be bringing a band of sleet and snow pushing across some central parts of the UK, but still quite a bit of uncertainty about that. But what we are pretty sure of is that through the weekend, will be dominated by low pressure systems trying to push in from the south, bringing with them ever so slightly milder air, but also the likelihood of cloud and spells of rain and snow. Notice across northern Britain, not too many weather fronts, the wind's still coming in from the east, but if you follow the isobars, they're pointing more up from the south now. So instead of the winds directly coming from Siberia, it will be a little bit less cold because the air isn't coming due east, it's coming more up from the south. But it will still be cold enough for snow showers, and we've still got that contrast in Sunday between the slightly milder air in the south and the still cold conditions further north. So it's a north-south split this weekend. In the north, staying cold, but not as cold as it is currently. Continued likelihood of frost and ice, and still the likelihood of more snow showers to come. Whereas further south, slightly milder conditions, but slightly milder. It will be noticeably less cold than it is currently. There will be more of a mixture of rain and snow. And because we've got milder conditions spreading over a cold surface, that will lead to gloomy conditions, quite misty and murky, with uh, some fog around as well. Into next week, low pressure looks like moving close to the UK, still low pressure down to the southwest. Things are slow moving. That's one of the key factors as we go into next week. The weather patterns are still blocked. At the moment, or recently, they've been blocked by high pressure across Scandinavia. 
This is a, a different kind of block. We've got low pressure systems just milling around and very slowly mixing the air together. So gradually that milder air will be pushing in, but it will be gradual. And notice still early next week that contrast between the milder conditions across the south, still cold across the north, and the cold air is not too far away. So it will still get mixed in at times. So beyond the early part of next week, looking throughout next week, well, this is the trend. I'm going to show you this is called a meteogram showing the temperature trends through next week. The top one is for Glasgow. The bottom one is for Reading. Now, this main red line shows the average temperatures for the time of year. And on the bottom, we've got the dates. Now, the red blobs are the expected temperatures for those respective days. The bigger the blob, the more the uncertainty. And you can see for, for Reading here into next week, there's quite a bit of uncertainty. The blobs are still quite large, but throughout the trend is for the main red blobs there to be below the average. So although it won't be as cold as it is now, it does look as if it will still be on the cold side for much of next week. Further north, we've got the Glasgow uh, graph. Again, showing the same thing, but notice the, uh, the blobs here are much smaller. There's much more certainty that we are still below average as we go into Monday and Tuesday. Only as we go towards the end of next week does the uncertainty spread gain. And at times we may get close to average, but the general trend here is that it will stay cold next week, just not as cold and we won't have the severity of the weather that we have at the moment. And the key thing is that things could be quite slow moving still with low pressure nearby, bringing some showers, which will be a mixture of rain and snow. So no real signs of spring, but just generally less severe weather next week. We will, of course, keep you updated. And for the very latest on the current spell of severe weather, all the latest weather warnings are on our app and, of course, on our website.